In this video, we'll go over how to find, install, and use some of the many add-ons in Google Docs. On its own, Google Docs is a wonderful tool for creating and sharing content. But just as Google's Web Store extensions can enhance your Google experience, add-ons can take your Google Docs experience to a much higher level. We'll go over a few add-ons in this video, but keep in mind that there are hundreds of others, and you should take some time to explore the add-ons that can work best for you. In this example, we'll take this student outline and show how some add-ons can help in creating the final report. This outline currently has two levels of detail, Roman numerals and capital letters. Our first add-on will help organize this doc to make it easier for students to fill in each section. Choose Add-ons, Get Add-ons. Like with extensions, there are hundreds of add-ons, but these are specific just to Google Docs. You can search by categories such as education or productivity. Enter table in the search field, and the one I want to install is called Table of Contents. Keep in mind that while most add-ons are marked as free, some are actually free trials and others are free with paid features. To install, click the Free button, choose the Google account where the install will take place, and give permission. I get a message that the add-on was installed, and now I have a Table of Contents panel on the right side. For this add-on to work, the outline needs to be organized by text style. Currently, the style for all text is Normal Text. I'll select each of the two main sections and change their style to Heading 1. And I'll select each of the subsections and make them Heading 2. In the Table of Contents panel, click Refresh to produce the linkable list. Now I can go through and remove the bullet formatting and use the Control plus Enter shortcut to place each section on its own page. I can use the links in the add-on list to navigate to each section where I can fill in my content. Note that Google Docs also has a native Table of Contents feature. I'll add a blank page at the top, title the page Table of Contents, and choose Insert Table of Contents. This option creates the Table of Contents without page numbers. This also creates a clickable list, but the advantage of the Table of Contents from the add-on is that that panel is always visible while you're working. Our next add-on will help with citations and bibliographies. Search for the Paper Pile add-on and install it. Say I've added this line of text here in this section, and I want to cite its reference. I'll place my cursor at the end of the text, then choose Add-ons, Paper Pile, Manage Citations. I'll enter Fertile Crescent in the search field, and here's the reference I used for the text. Websites can also be found this way. Now I can click Cite to add the reference into the doc. If I want to change the style to a different standard, such as Harvard, I can make the change and click the Update button. This will update all citations in the doc at once. And if I scroll down to the very end of the doc, I'll see my bibliography. The final add-on I'll show is LucidChart, one of several add-ons used to create charts and diagrams. I want to add a simple graphic on this page. I'll choose Add-ons, Lucid Chart Diagrams, Insert Diagram. I'll click the plus sign here to start a new diagram. There are several templates you can start with, but I'll start with a blank canvas. This takes me to the Lucid Chart site, where I can drag in shapes, fill them with text, and connect them with arrows. I'll rename this diagram here. Then I'll click Back to Doc where the new diagram appears on the list. I'll click on this diagram, then click Insert to bring it in. The diagram comes in as an image. If I switch its alignment from inline to wrap text, I can move it around. 
and if I need to make edits, I can click the pencil icon. The three add-ons we covered here only scratch the surface of add-on capabilities. If you install add-ons that you'd later like to remove, you can choose Add-ons, Manage Add-ons in order to do this.